Welcome to my beginner Unreal Engine tutorial series. This is going to be episode five, and we're going to be building on the last two episodes by just learning more about widgets. In the third episode, what we did is we just created a simple widget that when we hit play, it began. In episode four, what we did is we just had it so that when we walked into a box trigger, it would appear on the screen. And then there was no way of actually making it disappear. This is the one where I'm actually show you how to remove it as soon as you leave the box trigger. So this is going to allow you to have more control over when your widgets are going to be showing. Now, a little disclaimer, this is technically the easiest way of removing widgets, but it's not the best way because there are, if there are multiple widgets, it's going to remove all of them. But since we only have one, I figured that this would be the easiest way to show people how to do it. If you're only working with one widget, there's no need to, you know, make it more difficult than it has to be. So. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you learn something. So like the other episodes, we're going to be launching the engine. We can jump right into it. And I say this in every episode, but we are going to be making a fresh new file so that we can always go back and look at all of the previous versions of what we've been working on. If we get stuck on something, I'm going to go to game next first person next and make sure that these are all the same as before. They should be blueprints. The only one that is important. You don't want it to set to, uh, be set to C plus plus. I'm going to call this tut five remove widget and I'm going to create the project. And as we did before, New editor window, right click user interface, widget blueprint, hello world, save. Let's go in here. We're going to go horizontal box, canvas panel, take it to the corner, text inside the horizontal box. Make sure the text is selected here so we get these options. Fill, horizontal align, vertical align font 80 hello world compile save okay not bad and then we're going to drop in a box trigger again i'm going to pull this up a little bit i'm going to hit r scale it up just until it touches the ground there i'm going to scale it out and i'm going to scale it like this just make sure that our this is the beginner player pawn, so just make sure that it's not overlapping. Uh, and that way it's not going to mess anything up because we only want it to activate once we walk in. So we'll save, go to blueprints, open level blueprint. Now make sure that you have the box trigger selected, so it should be light orange. Let's type in add on actor overlap. And we're also going to add on actor end overlap. So as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, this is the event that is going to call the string that we put after it or the chain of events on actor begin overlap and then trigger box. It's very important that inside of the brackets, it says trigger box or whatever the name is in your outliner for the object that you dropped in. It should be trigger box unless you've changed it, but just want to throw that out there. So as we did before, create widget. Class hello world because that's the widget that we're going to be calling. Right click return value, promote to variable, drag this off here, add to viewport. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it, compile it. I guess I could have compiled it first, but I don't know why I always do it like that. This is now working, but we haven't actually added in the way to remove it. So this is basically where we were at the end of tutorial five. So as you can see, we walk in, it says, hello world. I would just say like kind of do it in steps. So we have all these working now, so we can focus on how to do the part that we were interested in. So if I open this back up now, this is what I was saying. So this is the easiest way, but it's kind of just like a blanket remove. So if there's multiple widgets, they're all going to get removed. But for this tutorial, it's fine. Drag it off here, remove all widgets. That's all we have to do. Compile, save, play. Now what's going to happen is if obviously I go over here, there's no widget. If I go over here, there's no widget. But if I walk over here, 
widget and it'll disappear as soon as I leave the box. So this is extremely helpful if you only want the player to have an event in a certain room or a certain area of the map. And it really is just that easy. In a future tutorial, not for the next little bit, I will show you how to remove individual widgets, but I figured that this is fine for what we're going to be doing. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll join us for part six.